This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Today we're in Brooklyn. We're gonna be taking a look at three of the most popular 400 speed color films that you can get for medium format. Should be a fun day of shooting. This test is probably not gonna be scientific by any means. We're just gonna shoot the three films, see what they look like, and you can decide for yourself which one you like best. The three films we have are Portra 400, Fuji 400H, and Lomography 400. For a long time, I was shooting on Portra 400. I recently switched to Fuji 400, and I've personally never tried Lomography 400, but I've heard a lot of good things about it, so should be. There goes the Portra. Should just be a fun day of making some photos and you can decide for yourself which one you like better. Definitely let me know in the comments which one your preference is. We're gonna start with Porch 400 because it should be a good basis for comparing the films and then we'll go from there. If we have time, we also have some fun expired 400 speed film options that we're gonna try. There's Fuji 400 NPH and Portra VC. They don't make either of these films anymore, but if we have time, we'll try one of them out and that should be cool as well. But we're gonna get started shooting. We came to this power plant. I've taken photos here recently for a little series that I'm working on, but it should just be interesting to photograph so you can get an idea of these films. These photos aren't serious by any means, but it should be cool to just see the different films and what they look like in a similar setting. Look at that, look at the skyline. So Portra is generally known for portraits because it has good warm colors for skin tones. It's probably the most versatile film I would say and people like it because you can over and under expose it a ton and the photos generally still come out pretty good. I feel like there has to be a shot here. I don't know if that was the right one, but. Do you see the light in there? Portra 400 is the film that I shot for a long time. And it's really nice when you shoot a film for a while that you get comfortable with it. But I've been trying Fuji more recently and I've never shot Lomography personally, so it should be fun to try out as well because I've never tried it. If we're comparing the two actual physical film rolls, Fuji's easier to load, you don't have to lick the film. Not that it matters for the photos, but... The first frame of the Fuji is gonna be the same exact composition as the last frame of Portra, so that we can get kind of a direct comparison.
I'm metering all of these at 400 speed just so we get a good fair comparison. You can over or underexpose these in any way you want to customize the look a little bit, but 400 is just the standard. The last of the new films is Lomography 400. I gotta give a thank you to them because there was nowhere in the city in New York that had this in stock and they personally gave me one of their roles. So that's pretty cool. Thank you, Lomography. They said this will be in stock again very soon though. The demand is just there. Lomography 400 is the only one of these films aside from the expired one that I've never shot personally. My friend Matt Day has made a ton of videos recently about Lomography film and I know a couple friends who really love it, so I'm excited to try it. I've heard it's a lot more saturated and punchy, which could be cool because Portra and Fuji are generally like softer, more pastel films. I'm gonna shoot a roll of Fuji NPH as well. I've heard a lot of good things about this film. Somebody very kindly sent me a ton of expired film and I'll definitely do a full video on that. But for now, I think we'll try a roll of expired Fuji NPH. So for me, there definitely isn't one clear winner here. I think each of these films have a cool characteristic that makes them unique. Personally, I really like the warm tones of Portra that makes it great for shooting portraits. I like that Fuji has a very neutral and flat look to it. And Lomography is great to go with if you want something a little more colorful and saturated because it does have really nice punchy colors. Aside from that, I wanna give a huge thank you to my friend Alan Jang for filming. There's a photo talks episode on him and I'll leave his Instagram down below. I also want to give a big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. I've had my website with them for over two years and their customizable online templates make it so easy to create a personalized and unique portfolio to showcase your work. Their 24-7 online customer support is also just so valuable in that process of building a website when you need assistance. You can use my link in the description to get 14 days of Squarespace for free and when you're ready to launch go to squarespace.com Willem for 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. There's some pretty exciting things coming up on the channel. I've been trying to upload occasionally on Wednesdays as well, which has been really fun. I'm not gonna officially say that I'm uploading every Wednesday yet because as you saw this last Wednesday, it was just too much. But ideally, I would like to upload a little more so the occasional Wednesday videos have been really fun. There's a really fun photo talks episode with Joe Greer that's being recorded tomorrow. I also made some of my favorite photos ever this past weekend down the Jersey Shore for that project that I've been making in New Jersey and there will be a full video about that as well coming very soon so make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. You can check out my Instagram which is at Willem Verb. That's it for now. Peace. <laughs>